This is a Dell XPS 1645. This is a screen replacement. Now, the reason why you want to replace your screen is when something kind of like this happens. All right, when that unfortunate event occurs, you will need to replace your screen. You'll need two tools, uh, probably three, if you can't, a knife. You'll need a hexagon driver, pretty small, six point for the four screw screws right here. And a small screwdriver for about the six screws inside the laptop. First, you wanna take these screws out. Now, after you take those screws out, you need to pop off these two little silver majiggy frame things. Now to do this correctly, it's kind of a guess. I need to pry them off a little bit. Put the screen all the way down. Try to pop them off from underneath. All right, then next, you got a plastic cover that goes over the screen. And what you need to do is get a thin object, maybe like a knife, a really thin one. And then you gotta kind of slowly pry this off. It is held on by two or double stick tape. You just gotta be slow about it, slowly prying it off. Once it's fully pried off, which it's previously been, so that was pretty easy, but usually takes a little bit longer. What you do is you take the mini screwdriver that you have, and there are six screws, one right here, the top, another one on the other side, and then two down here at the very bottom. Now they all of them come out pretty easily, they're not in there too tight. Now the ones at the bottom, there's four of them. They're a little bit hard to get out because you can't get the best angle, but like I said, they're pretty easy to get out because they're not in too tight. Now all six screws, they're all the same size. They hold the screen down to the computer. So you don't have to worry about switching them up. Now after that's taken out, the screws, take the laptop, kind of fold it down so the screen comes out nice and easy. And then what you got are two screws holding the brackets because you'll need to take out the brackets for your new screen. Those use the same screwdriver, but they are a little bit smaller than the rest of the screws, so keep them separate. Just remove the brackets from the screen, put them aside. And then one last part of taking off the screen is your 40 pin connector. I think that's what's called, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but there's this blue tab right here, which is kind of like a lever. Just pull up the blue tab and it unlocks the cord from the screen and just lightly pull it out. Now they do tape it down to the screen so just be gentle with it because they're not all that strong, they're pretty fragile. Just slowly work it until it pops out. And now you can just you know, break your old screen even more. Works for me. Had to find some Rubber gloves, didn't want to get any uh, fingerprints on the screen. My brand new screen I just got today. Just be gentle with it because it is an LCD screen. Uh, when you get it, there's going to be a little plastic cover on it. Um, leave that on until your screen is fully installed. Now, what you first want to do is Take that screen connector that you previously took off, 
fold down the blue tab. Alright, once you get that in, fold down that blue tab to lock it in. Now what you want to then do is take the brackets I previously took off, place them on the side where you got the uh, these little corners on the back side, or otherwise you'd block the screen. Take those four small screws you previously took off, put them back in. And I assure you, this is no easy task. Very difficult. Very difficult. And now we're over here. Still putting in the screws on the side. Putting the brackets back in. It's not going too well though. Huh. Alright, now with that, be nice and gentle. Kind of shut the screen. Pick up the screen from the brackets. Put a hole in it. Pull on the back. But now you want to start with putting the frame back into the laptop. And I should fit pretty snugly in there without the screws. And you'll you'll know what I mean once you get there. Now you want to take off this cover. Now after that, if you did touch the inside of your uh, cover, I don't want to take like a eyeglass cloth, wipe it down real quick. No, you just want to first kind of slide it in there. And you want these two silver tabs on the inside of these circle golden things all the way at the bottom. Just let it sit in there and then kind of push it down so your uh, connectors kind of click. And then we want to take these little silver frame things that you put on or took off in the beginning. Now you want the kind of cover like part to go on the inside. So these covers go like this. What you want to do is put the screen all the way back, slide it back in there. Now you want the the frame part or the little these little lips, like I just mentioned. You want those to go back on the inside, or like the the circle goal thing I just talked about earlier, or it will not fit properly. And once you kind of hear it kind of click in, flip the screen back over, and make sure. The backs are pushed in. Just gotta wiggle it, work it a little bit. You can kind of rough it, but still be gentle with it. And then back to the, uh, the hexagon screwdriver. All right, now all the screws are back in. Let's give it a test. See what happens. Ta-da! Alright, now this is pretty easy to do. Um, this is my first time ever doing it. Um, once I broke my screen, I started looking up ways to replace it or get repaired. And all I could think about was that it's going to cost like $400 to $500 to send it back into Dell. Or to send it in through Best Buy to have it replaced. But, you know, that repair was pretty simple. It cost about $100 for the screen. And you saved yourself probably a lot of time. I ordered it screen on Friday or Saturday or Thursday. I got it on Monday. And um it's pretty simple. There's not much more to that.